Welcome back to another Twinkle Tips Friday video. Guys, this is Clyde from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us. Happy New Year to you. It is the weekend before New Year's 2024. It's the last Twinkle Tips Friday video of 2023. And we are excited because 2024 is going to be amazing. So we hope that you've had a fantastic season and everything has gone as well as possible for you. I know that it gets stressful and you can struggle along with the hobby even during the season whenever we're open and running because you got to keep up with changing pixels. You got to keep up with fixing things. And you know, you have you have barriers like the wind comes through and knocks your props down or, you know, your mega tree comes down. So hats off to you, to all of you who have worked through all of the issues that you've had this year. Congratulations. It's almost at the end of the season. And guess what? We get started for 2024. So in today's video, what I want to do is I want to touch uh, on a topic I've never talked about before, and that is the shadow model. Now, what's so exciting about the shadow model? Well, it solves some challenges for us, and I'd like to thank Mr. Bob Banks, and I'd also like to thank Mr. Brad Lunar for giving me the idea to do this video for you guys today. And that's why it's kind of late, because I had to prepare for it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's roll on. I, the first thing I want to do is I want to show you we're in the layout tab. And the reason we're in the layout tab is because I needed to get a controller in here. I wanted a controller in here so that you could see the process of using a shadow model and why you should use a shadow model, when you should use a shadow model, okay? We're going to go right to the layout tab. And the, the number one question that people get whenever they want to upload a prop is I want to tell X lights, these are the strings that I want to output, the number of pixels I want on each string. And some models in X lights don't work very well natively with configuring outputs. One of those models is the circle model, and it won't allow you to break up into nice, neat, even pixel counts per your output. And so if you use the circle model for models such as what I'm going to share with you, which is the uh, we're going to download the Boscoyo Mesmerizer, and that should be real quick here. Where is it at? Spinner, Mesmerizer. We'll go ahead and insert this. The You can see here that if we go down here to sh number of strings, and we want to do four strings, what x -Lights will do is x -Lights will say, okay, let's look at this. We'll go to the uh, node layout, and x -Lights will break it down but it doesn't break it down correctly for four strings. It doesn't, you see how this is, this is this green here, and then you have the blue, this is string four, string one. It doesn't make much sense. And so x lights doesn't, with some native x lights models, it doesn't always break down the pixel counts for you. So we have two ways that we can solve this. And the first thing I'm going to say before we get into the meat and potatoes is, at the beginning of December, the first week of December, I did a Twinkle Tips video. I want you to go, I'm going to link it up here, and I want you to go give it a watch because if you're going to use this process today and you have multiple of these, of these specific type models that you're bringing into your show, that's the easy way to bring them in. I want you to know that. Today is teaching you a different lesson, which is how do you get it to be on individual outputs and where we use the shadow model to help us to upload to the controller. That's what today's lesson is. But I'm going to mix some of it from that other video into here later on. So stay tuned for that. So the first thing that we notice, as I said, you can come in here and you can give this four strings, but the four strings don't exactly show up the way that you think they should. If we go back here to visualize and we bring the Bos Boscoyo Mesmerizer over, this is like a total error. It doesn't know what's going on. It, you want it to have four outputs, even to give it the right number. Well, what's the problem? Well, the problem is, is that the Mesmerizer... And, and this may not be true of, let, let's say, the mother of all Reese from Gilbert Engineering. This prop has a total of 1,117 pixels. Now, if any of you are familiar with mathematics, 1117 is a prime number. It's divisible only by itself and one. That's it. So since it's a prime number, this is the way that we need to handle 
doing our outputs for this model. What we can do is we can right click and we can export this model as a custom X Lights model. We'll go ahead and uh, save it here as Boscoyo Mesmerizer. And then we'll go over here to import and we'll import click and drag and we'll go to the Boscoyo Mesmerizer right there. Now, most people will sit there and say, boy, that model is ugly. And it is. But you could still use this model and sequence off of this model. Most people like this pretty model. They really do. They, they like the pretty model. It looks better in their layout. I have a fix for you in a little while, but I want to show you the, the reason why shadow models are helpful and how you can apply them. So let's go here and uh, let's take this model and we're going to give it a new name. We're going to call it Upload. And now it says Upload. So next what we'd like to do is go in and we're going to give the number of strands that we're going to use. Now, I have a mesmerizer in my show. That mesmerizer runs off of four, uh, four outputs. And you can take, where's my little calculator? You can take 1117 and divide it by four and that gives you an average of 279 pixels per output. Well, I'm not going to use 279. I'm going to use 300, 300, 300, and whatever the remainder is. That just makes it an easy, easy round number, and that's where the pixels come apart at, at the 100 counts, because that's what I use to push the, the mesmerizer with. I'm going to go in here, and we'll give it the number of strings of four, and then when we do, it gives us an individual start node, a checkbox that we can click on and see how it automatically fills this in for you well this is telling you what do you want string number one to start at we want string number one to start at pixel number one we want string number two I want to use 300 pixels per output I'm gonna make this 301 for 300 pixel number 301 we'll make this for 601 the 600th pixel or the 601th pixel and then we'll go to 901 okay We'll go ahead and hit save. We'll go to controllers. And now we're going to hit the visualizer on this. Let's pull the other mesmerizer back. We'll pull the upload mesmerizer over. Okay. So now, now we've, we've clearly set up this model to be our upload model. And that's the most important thing, right? Um, now, Let's come over here and let's get to let's get to work with the uh, regular, the pretty model that everybody wants to use. So this is the way that you can work out how to do this. So you can come down here where it says controller and where it says controller, we're going to give it a start channel. And what that start channel is going to be, it's going to be um, the exact same as the shadow model that we're going to use for the upload mesmerizer we can give it the exact same start channel so what we'll do is we'll click on here and we'll say oh it's ethernet number one colon one we can give this one the exact same number and we can give it number one now notice I have the overlap checks enabled a uh, checkbox set and what that means is whenever I click on this, it's highlighting any model that is sharing pixels between, if they're overlapping, if the, mo if the pixel counts are overlapping, it will show the two models. And what happens is, what ends up happening is, is that you can get an error in check sequence. Well, that's one of the reasons why we call this a shadow model. So how do we know that these models are going to work for our needs? This model here, is going to be our upload model. It's going to upload our channel configuration, but we want to sequence off of this one. So let's go into the sequencer, uh, create a new sequence, click done. I'm going to put a timing mark down here. Let's zoom in and we'll put on the mesmerizer, not the upload mesmerizer. We'll go ahead and we'll hit the single strand button. And you can see here, that we only have one mesmerizer that we has effects on it, but it's displaying the effects on the other mesmerizer. Now, why is this good? Well, because this mesmerizer here on the left-hand side, we can bump this up so you can see a couple of them there. There you go. Uh, you, you can see that 
that the, the effects are going to be portrayed onto the upload model. When you upload that model, those channels, because they're the exact same, are going to portray onto your controller. And therefore, even though you're not uploading this model and, and using your sequencing on it, you're, you're using this to send the data out to the controllers too via the same start channel even though even though this isn't going to be uploaded to so i told you that there were different ways uh to do certain things and if you watch that video that i showed you earlier uh that i pointed to up there earlier in the video the my recommendation is to look at that video first and the reason why is because of what i'm about to show you might be something that is super helpful way more helpful because when you download these models, sometimes there are no groups. As you can see there, there's no groups anywhere attached to that imported model from the Boscoyo download. Now, Pixel Pro Displays has gone through and done a ton of submodeling, additions, updates, and uh, revisions to a number of the downloaded models that were that were posted in X Lights over the past two or three years, and we have uploaded those to our website. I'm going to bring in the uh, right behind me here uh, the PPD certified models and why is this why am I bringing this up well because if you go to pixelprodisplays.com and you you click here on the top under learning and click on certified models um, you can scroll down here and you can choose some of these other these these certified models that we've created and the reason we created them was to help you be able to simply map sequences that we've created from Pixel Pro Displays into your layout using some of our PPD groups that are attached to some of these models. So I've already downloaded the Boscoyo Mesmerizer and I'm going to import the Mesmerizer and you're going to see why I wanted you to watch the whole video. We're going to go ahead and delete this model and now we have a mesmerizer. I'm actually going to delete, uh, I'll leave the mesmerizer in here. But what I want to do is I want to import the downloaded model. So you can, you can go in here, you can click on the mesmerizer download, and you can uh, use the download button here at the bottom, which I've already done. And you saw it earlier whenever I went to download earlier. See how it says PPD Boscoyo Mesmerizer. So now we brought in that imported model. The first thing you're going to notice is we've added a significant number of sequencing groups to the Mesmerizer. And you can see this model actually looks really, really pretty decent. It looks pretty. It looks pretty. It doesn't look like the other model that you exported whenever you exported the model and imported it. It doesn't look like that. It looks more like the original. And that's because using, if we go back in here, it's, it's a really big model, though. It's almost 800 by 800 pixels. That's a big model. But this is one of the things that most people wanted was they wanted a model that they could come in here and they could use the string count. So if you have, let's say, four strings, you could come in here and you could give it the individual start channels of 100, 301, 601, and 901. And if you came back over here, you could open up the visualizer and bring over the Boscoyo Mesmerizer 2 and there you have it. You've got all four of them and it tells you 300, 300, 300 and 217. That's the pixel count of my Mesmerizer out in the show. So that's nice, that's helpful, but now do you even need this? No you don't. But if you have, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And if you have multiple Mesmerizers now you've already added one mesmerizer. Let's say you have a second mesmerizer. Let's go ahead and import that. I know this is a big prop. You, you might not have a second mesmerizer. Maybe you do. But if you do, we can click open. And now look, it says model, model contains model groups that already exist. Would you like to add these to the existing groups? So these are already existing over there. And if you take a second and you see this prompt, go ahead and click OK. Now you have two mesmerizers. All the groups are synchronized and all of them are added in and you just saved yourself a ton of time. And not only that, it's in the custom model form. It's not in the native x -Lights form. So you really don't need that full model. Guys, that's everything we have for you. We really hope you liked this video. It was chocked full of a ton of information 
and we know it gets confusing out there but we hope that we help solve and remove some of that frustration for you if you like the video please give us a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit the black subscribe button down below and uh, by all means hit the bell for notifications so you never miss one of our twinkle tip friday videos or any of our other videos we have always have got something coming towards you you just never know when it's going to come if you haven't joined the ppu facebook group down in the uh, video link description below uh, you'll see a link to the ppu facebook group so if you have questions and you'd like to join our awesome thriving little community of over 3,000 people now um, or 4,000 we're we, we just hit 4,000 people so go and join the PPU Facebook group and uh, if you have questions and you're new to the hobby we probably have the answers we hang out every Tuesday night and do a lot of one-on-ones with people we answer questions uh, we hold webinars uh, Tuesday nights is our is our get-together night there's more on the website on that if you want to find out more and if you appreciate the things we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club. We do one awesome sequence each and every month for you. One is about to get uploaded here coming in the next two days, and we're super excited because it's the first song of 2024. So, guys, that's everything I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next year and in the next video. Take care and bye for now. But, um, but this prop has a total of 1,117 numbers. Or, this prop has...